Good morning, students. My name is Suhas Ora, Assistant Professor of Electrical Department at Sri Swaminarayan Institute of Technology. So, we have chapter number 4 start kiya tha, the state estimations. Uh, new topic start karne se pehle hum last lectures mein kya dekha tha wo dekhte hain to humne last lectures mein dekha tha ki last lectures mein humne dekha tha ki lead square estimations and the static state estimations of the power systems so least square means ke in this method is the form of the mathematical representation analysis used to determine the line of the best fit for the set of data and providing the visual demonstrations of the relationship between the data point yani ki is method se hum jo line mein jo fault hai usme jo data hai us basis pe jo solutions humko relations jo ke humne jo set kiye hain wo easily hum find kar sakte hain so each point of the data represent the relationship between the non independent variables and the unknown dependent variables yani ki ek jo set values hai wo aur ek jo humko nahi pata hai jo variables nahi pata hai wo so now in this method is also called the weighted lead square problems and this one is used for the state estimations problem so this problem where the object function is weighted sum of the square of the measurement residual to be minimized so measurement equations of the system model at the bus bar or branch is given as z equal to hx plus e so here the z is the measurement vector of the dimensions hx is the vector functions which related the measure to the state variables and the x is the state variable of the estimations now if i apply the taylor's equations of the hx at a x equal to 0 x equal to x 0 means the initial level in the equation so we get the equations delta z then h and delta x so the weighted least square values for the x can be get by the minimization objective functions given as like this so taking the derivations of the equations some derive current so we can find this so now h transform w dot h is the g inverse so g inverse is like this called the gain matrix so this method algorithms is start then after the get the data from the read measurement then after the choose the initial values equal to x0 yani ki initial conditions then solve the examples yani ki hum value put up karenge then after calculate the matrix h then calculate the h transform w h yani ki g transform and delta x now check the e. if e is a less the value mil rahi hai wo less than e hai then okay agar nahi hai to again x plus delta x so this method is used for the finding the state estimations problems now take a one examples the electrical network you can see here let the current measurement by the values yahan pe humko di gayi hai so if i applying the kcl so we get like this v1 minus v2 minus e by 1 equal to 1 so so like this v1 minus v2 minus e by 1 yani ki 1 ohm and the values is e1 equal to 1 so this equal to equal to 1 so v1 minus v2 minus e equal to 1 so v1 ki values is minus 3.5 and v2 is 1.5 so values of e is equal to 1.5 now in a matrix form you can see here put up the values all in the values so v1 v2 and e v1 v2 and e and this one is the 1 
ना हो तो अगेन मेट्रिक्स फाइंड करने के लिए z इक्वल टू एच ट्रांसफॉर्म डॉट एच हमारे पास एच है तो एच ट्रांसफॉर्म कर देंगे हम सो so, थ्री बाई फोर मेट्रिक्स को हम फोर बाई थ्री मेट्रिक्स में कन्वर्ट कर देंगे लाइक दिस देन आफ्टर वी कैन फाइंड द जी इनवर्स सो वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ जी इनवर्स सो एच इक्वल टू जी इनवर्स इन टू एच ट्रांसफॉर्म सो लाइक फाइनल इक्वेशन इज दिस फॉर द एच नाउ पोर्ट दिन द इक्वेशन एच क्रॉस डेल्टा जेड सो जेड डेज इज इक्वल टू एच क्रॉस डेल्टा एक्स के एंड द फाइनल इक्वेशन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा जेड माइनस एच डेल्टा एक्स सो दिस वन इज द फाइनल आंसर नाउ द स्टेट एस्टिमेशन ऑफ द पावर सिस्टम सो लेट दी वी कैन कंसिडर दी पी आई एंड क्यू आई इज द एक्टिव एंड रिएक्टिव पावर इंजेक्शन ऑफ द बस इज सो लाइक दिस वन इज द इक्वेशन वेर वाई आई जे इज रिप्रेजेंट द मैग्नेटेड एंड द डेल्टा सॉरी थीटा आई जे इज रिप्रेजेंट द एंगल ऑफ द एडमिटेंस ऑफ द लाइन कनेक्शन ऑफ द चेत बस सो देन अपडेट सो दिस इक्वेशन नाउ लेट अस एजीव दैट द वैक्टर वाई द जनरेशन इज द फॉर्म इज लाइक दिस एंड एच वी इज लाइक दिस नाउ द एल्गोरिदम यू कैन फाइंड दी वाई इक्वल टू एच एक्स प्लस आर हमको पता है सो एच आई इक्वेशन लाइक दिस सो एच वन फाइंड करने के लिए आई जे वी आई वी जे एडमिटन मैट्रिक्स एंड द साइन थीटा माइनस सॉरी डेल माइनस डेल आई माइनस डेल जे प्लस थीटा जे एंड पुट दी वैल्यूज सो एप्लाइंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डी कपलिंग सो द सबस्टेशन of the equations h2 and h3 becomes minimum values so that the zero so like this is delta y and the delta y is represent here so this one is the algorithm from the system now today's topic is the tracking state estimations and the treatment of database so tracking state estimations of the power system is the tracking estimation are used for the real time monitoring of the system tracking yani ki hamari jo system mein real time mein jo changes ho rahe hai usko monitoring karna hai so here the state estimator are taken the static estimators so the tracking estimations is the power system is a important for the real time monitoring system as is well known the voltage of the real system vary the randomly with the time and should therefore be considered the process so in it is the thus necessary to make the sequential estimations technique in the order to obtain the state estimations at a, any given point yani ki humne jo abhi last mein jo dekha wo so the power relations equations still valid but must be rewrite after the in indicating the voltage magnitude and the angle are new functions of the described time index so these measurement vectors should be updated on the period base which are used in the state estimation equations so yahan pe hum jo nayi values hai wo put up karenge jaise hi humne aage dekha wahi hai के वो सिस्टम ने हमको हम हमको क्या करना है कि जो रियल टाइम में जो वैल्यूज है वो पुट अप करना है नाउ द सम कंप्यूटेशनल कंडीशंस इज सो बोथ द स्टेटिक एंड द एस्टिमेशंस स्टेटिक एंड द ट्रैकिंग एस्टिमेशंस अल्गोरिदम प्रेजेंट्स इन द प्रिसाइडिंग सेक्शंस आर computationally in visions so particularly for the large power network which may have the more than the 200 important buses so it is need to take care of some parameters and uh, it is therefore very important to pay attentions to such a computational issues as like the 
ill conditioning then computer storage and time requirement and how we need to first consider the questions of the axis of the solutions and the state estimation problem yani ki humko as fast as possible humko ye score uh, problem solve karna hota hai now the extrinsic system equilibrium uh, equivalency so basically there are the three sub system so in the external system have the computational simplification sometime given the system is the several into the three sub system is internal sub system boundary system and external systems so this one is the internal system these have the divided into the boundary systems and this one is the external systems so actually is me kya hota hai so the internal system contains of the only buses which we is interested yani ki internal bus mein hamare जो सिस्टम में जो एक्चुअली वर्कआउट करते हैं इंटरेस्टेड है वही यानी कि कंसीडर करेंगे देन आफ्टर द एक्सटर्नल सिस्टम कंटेंस दोज बसेज विच वेयर डायरेक्टली इंटरेस्टेड यानी कि जो डायरेक्टली इंटरेस्टेड है यानी कि एक बाउंड्री हम कब बना देते हैं जैसे कि जनरेशन हुआ जनरेशन के बाद हम पर्टिकुलर एरिया में हम कंसिडर करते हैं उसको बाउंड्री सिस्टम बोलते हैं so the buses which are linking the internal and external sub systems are taken the boundary system and this will reduce the original measurement equations resulting into the less compensations and the time needed so these are the external system which method is called the external system evaluatory and it is mainly used in the mixed data situations now the treatment of the database bad data sorry so treatment of the bad data so first of all humko pata hai ki bad data kya hai so it is the more important to detect and the identify the bad data and in case of the load dispatch center the small error in the measurement leads loss of the revenue so if any fault data are used in the vector and it will gives the in incorrect estimations of the state so it is need to have a method which isolate or remove the faulty data from the measurement vectors yani ki first of all humko bad data kaun se hai wo collect karna hai detect karna hai aur identify karna hai uske baad agar उस डेटा की वजह से हमारा जो अल्गोरिदम है उसमें वैल्यूज चेंज आती है तो उसको किस तरह से बेड डेटा को रिमूव कर सकते हैं सो द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द बेड डेटा इज सिंगल बेड डेटा मल्टी बेड डेटा तो द सिंगल बेड डेटा मीन्स हियर ओनली दी वन मेजरमेंट हैव द लार्ज एरर इन दी एंटायर सिस्टम यहाँ पे क्या होगी एक लार्ज नंबर वैल्यूज होगी उस डेटा को हम सिंगल डेटा ओनली सिंगल डेटा एंड द मल्टीपल बेड डेटा मीन्स यर द लार्जर देन वन मेजरमेंट हैव द एरर यानी कि जो वैल्यूज है वो एक से ज़्यादा हो तब उसको मल्टीपल बेड डेटा बोलते हैं सो मेजरमेंट आर क्लासीफाइड इज क्रिटिकल मेजरमेंट रेडेंट मेजरमेंट एंड क्रिटिकल पेयर्स so first one is the critical measurement means it is the one of the measurement if it remove from the measurement data will result into the unobservation system yani ki jo unobservation system hai usko us data ko hum collect karenge then radiant measurement mein hum kya kehte hain it is the measurement which is not critical all the random measurement have the non zero measurement residuals and the critical pair mein kya hota hai ke here the two random measurement on which their sim, uh, simulator remove the result into the unobservation system called the critical pair bad data collections now the step for the detections is the first one is let the take the row measurement 
of the z i yani ki bus system for the system then use the x i in the equations jo humne aage z find kiya tha to h x to get the estimations values then get the estimations error error is equal to is like this and calculate the weighted sum of square from the equations is f equal to sigma i equal to 1 to m ei square upon sigma square so ei is the estimation error so if any questions regarding this topic you can call me if any query regarding this topic you can mail me my mail id and the contact number is in your screen thank you